friends and we come down here quite a bit. Jason's with us. Hey guys. We are on the laptop and uh, YouTube's got this cool new functionality where we can actually go live without having to use the OBS software and all the yeah. crazy stuff we nice. usually do in the studio. So hey guys, see everybody popping in. <clears throat> all right, so we got 119 folks coming in. Hey, what's so up, we're man? also uh, going live on ours as well. So okay. up here we have Top Gun's channel and you're getting uh, followers on that one as well. Let me see the, watch this. Look at, look at this setup, guys. Look at this. <laughs> All right, see, we do this for a living, and they do this for a living too, but they got a much cooler setup for their iPhone. We're, yeah, we're, uh, we, we would love to be doing this for a living. We're, we're kind of <laughs> lagging behind. Well, I would say I, I, we got to be able to show you guys what this gun store looks like. I mean, guys, this is unbelievable. We got a big, big safe behind us, but uh, you can kind of, kind of see. There we go. And then on on top of all that coolness, Spamwich, have you done the shoot house yet? No, not yet. Before you leave, you have to do it. So they have a shoot house. They have they have indoor ranges here. Um, they have probably the craziest cool indoor ranges anywhere in the Midwest. Uh, they have um, all are the action targets. The, or they're yeah, all action so targets have, with yeah, a programmable please. thing. But they have targets that will go out, they'll turn for a threat, and then they'll turn away from you, then they'll move back and forth. And the lights will go out, and then the lights is what's fun. Yeah. <laughs> the, then the, the strobe lights, like a, a police officer's car's lights will light up and pitch black, and the targets are, it's just absolute insanity. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, it's, this is easily one of the coolest places, and if you guys are in the area, it's worth the drive. If you're in Ohio, Kentucky, Illinois, any part of Indiana, come on down, check it out. But they're doing a big live event. So what, what is, uh, what's going on today? Why are we all down here? So of course, uh, we have Tim from Military Arms Channel here. So that's one of the reasons we're here. One reason. Uh, <laughs> and Jason, of course. There he is, hi Jason. Hey <laughs> and, uh, and then of course we have Glock days going on right now. So there's a lot of stuff going on with Glock. We're giving away a free Glock tonight. We're giving away four sets of True Glow sights for four Glocks. Awesome. Uh, giving I, away an optic. I use T TFX Pro sights. That's what I have on my CZ yeah. right now. I love the TFX Pros. Those are Absolutely. awesome. Let's see. These are, the, these are the TFX Pros right here. If you guys haven't seen these sights before, this is what I carry on all my carry guns. We actually stole their table. I was surprised to see them here. I was like, awesome. I can't believe you guys are here because I love your sights. And I show them my carry gun. But um, yeah, these things are nice awesome. Nice sharp edge here. That's nice. Nice sharp edge. You have you have the, the light gathering filament. And then inside you have tritium. So no matter what time of day or night, you get those bright green glowing dots. Um, and it's awesome. So I love yeah. the sights. Glad they're here. So Glock, we ought to grab some Glock swag. Can you guys yeah. grab a couple of yeah. Glock stickers? What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to, uh, I don't know how we do this. Like what we do on Patreon? I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know that we can do this. I don't know. What's that? Well, usually on Patreon, we know who everybody is, and we can sign stuff and give stuff away. How can we do this? Any ideas, guys? We can sign it, and then if they're in, then they can come in here and stick it up. How, how many guys are local? Like, how many, how, many, how many guys are in the area? Sign it, and they'd have to pick it up from here. You'd have to, you'd have to come by the store and pick it up. That's the only thing we think of, because we don't have all your information. Like, on, on Patreon, yeah. when we do these things, we give away stuff. Um, you know, we, we have everybody's info. Ooh. Ooh, check this one out. Aha. Nice. So, tell you what. What we'll do is we'll sign this one. Jason and I will sign this one. You can sign it on the back, and then it'll never go away. Oh, it's, I didn't know you had a silver pen. I have a silver Sharpie because one of your staff members, God bless her soul, because we had a guy come in with a black magazine, wanted us to sign it. Yeah. I had the black Sharpie already, but I needed the silver Sharpie. And uh, somebody went out and got us some silver Sharpie. So, we're going to sign. And we're just going to leave this here. At, at Terre Haute, and the first person that comes in and asks for this. That's a great idea. There. Yep. First person that comes into to Top Guns in Terre Haute, Indiana, and asks for the Glock license plate, it's yours. <laughs> That's great. So, and we got we got some other stuff we can play that game Maybe with. they've had to have at least show us where they've liked your video, so it's not just somebody that's walking around the store right now. It's somebody that's watching Oh, yeah. Page. We don't want anybody doing any, yeah. any crazy stuff. We have yeah. to talk real soft so nobody can hear what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, so we've been down here. We had some guys out here with some belt-fed machine guns, classics. Um, well, he had the Vickers out there running, right? The Absolutely. Vickers machine gun. I got a little bit of footage of that. 1917 A1. 1917 A1. That was pretty cool. Yep. These are, these are uh, World War One. 
water-cooled belt-fed machine guns. They're not like the World War II guns with you know ventilated barrels. These are the water jacket guns, and that was awesome. Yes. And I'm about to sneeze because <clears throat> I think for whatever reason I've been them. sneezing a lot. As well. <laughs> there we go. Want to shake my hand? <laughs> I've been washing my hands like a hundred times today. I keep sneezing. I don't know if it's a hay fever or what. But anyway, so they, they had um, um, all the belt-fed machine gun guys had an MG34 out here. Had uh, and Jason was going nuts over the MG34. I, I love the MG34. He didn't have any belts, so we couldn't no shoot it. We said, "Hey, if we buy some non-corrosive eight millimeter, can we shoot it?" And the guy says, "I don't have a belt." <laughs> so I can drive home and get a belt, but I don't have any here. I was like. <laughs> And, and, dri and driving home is like three hours or something, so. Yeah. But anyway, so what else is going on out here? So, so Jason used to have a semi-auto, right? Still does. Still so, does right. so how this works is yes. we have these things called family guns. And so Jason went out and bought a semi-automatic TNW. We, we showed it in video. No, we haven't showed it in the video. We it did an Instagram post. It was an Instagram post. Yeah. And Jason got the gun, and uh, and he, he wanted to have this thing really, really bad. He got it, made all the payments on it, and then... Uh, it wound up in my collection because he wanted something else, so he traded me something for that. And now it's a family gun. I can't sell it. It has to go back to him whenever he decides he wants to trade for it or buy yep. it back. Yep. So we have an MG34 that he bought, <laughs> some automatic. We need, yeah. get, we need to make a video. Yeah, we do need to make a video on it. Probably, probably, um, how many years have I had that UK59? Quite a bit. So we I, should take the UK-59 out and the MG-34 out. So years ago from Atlantic Firearms, I bought a UK-59, which is, think of a Bryn machine gun, top-fed Bryn machine gun that's belt-fed. And the Czechs built it, and it's uh, it's a very, very cool gun. And that and the 8mm uh, MG-34, we got to take that thing out and shoot it. All right. right. What, this, check, out, check out this shirt, guys. This oh, is that, something from Copper Custom that we, we you know, the guys came up with it. Life finds a way with the uh, 3D printed. <laughs> so, so this is a 3D printed gun. If you guys ever watched the movie Jurassic Park, it's, it's Jeff Goldblum, right? I believe so. Yes. Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. He knows. Says, yeah. like, they, they go, well, there's no females. How are they reproducing? He goes, I, I, I don't know. Life just finds a way. <laughs> so anyway, Copper Custom, if you guys want to pick the shirts up, I think they're doing a pre-order over there. Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, what else can we sign and give away to somebody that wants to come by the store and check it out? Those little Glock stickers right there. Which ones? Right here. Uh -huh. These? No, no. These. These ones. All right. So the Glock guys have been here. They're they're running a whole... Is this a sticker? Yeah. The, the Glock guys have all the guns out here today. They have the 26. They have the 19X. They have all the Gen 5 guns. Um, ooh, look at this. Ooh, oh, that's nice. The Glock guys just brought this over. All right. There's another one. Here's another one. It gets even bigger and better. This would be good in a man cave, right? Absolutely. This is man cave material right here. Now keep in mind, guys, I carried a Glock 19 for many, many, many years. And when I went to appendix carry, I went to double action. So I'm a fan of the Glock 19. It's funny. We got multicolored markers going on. I know. We got to <laughs> use the right colored marker because... All right. So if you guys come by... And I don't think there's a time limit. It's the first person that comes in to Top Guns, Terre Haute, and says, I want the man cave block thing signed by Jason and, 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 and Mac. It's yours. So First come, right. first serve. First come, first serve. Yeah. Prefer, so, if you prefer the license plate, you can get the license plate. For the man cave, get the man cave. <laughs> the man cave. I don't know what else to call it, but the man cave thing. So anyway. We've been trying to do some. Uh, we've been trying to do some appearances and go around and try to meet everybody. Um, just stay tuned on Facebook, Instagram if you don't follow us on Instagram. And we've been tra traveling around. We were just up in Michigan, and uh, we, we visited a gun shop up there, met folks, and then um, August fourth today we're down here, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, they've had a lot of folks come out, and I guess it's seven o'clock. Things are gonna get crazy. Going to do a giveaway. It'll be nuts. Yeah, it'll be nuts yeah. in here, here in just a little bit. Um, also, I don't. We have also have a Facebook channel. Yep. And or, I mean, sorry, YouTube. We're on YouTube. YouTube and Facebook so, and Instagram. Right. So basically, whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, um, you can simply just type in Top Guns. They can find us mm -hmm. and uh, check out some of our content. So I'm going to ask you a question. Absolutely. How much did you pay me to show up down here? Uh, let's see here. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody out there thinks, oh, he just he, he used a paid chill. It's like, no, I come out here and do this because I enjoy it. Um, no. Steve said, do you want to come down? Do you want to do something? I said, absolutely. We'd love to. So Jason and I 
drove about three hours south to come down here yep. and meet folks and hang out and we want you guys to come out and uh, and see us. Uh, we're gonna do this again. Absolutely. And so you know, and I, for my guy, for my viewers also, I want to make sure they know uh, two of the coolest dudes we've had the opportunity to meet and most humble and down to earth guys. And uh, we're very happy as a as a facility that you guys came down and spent some time with us. Thank you, man. We had yeah. a lot of fun. We're looking forward to you guys coming back, yep. and we're gonna get you in the shoot house today. <laughs> they actually have a shoot house set up, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put a skills to uh, to the test today, both of them. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot all the hostages. I'm, shoot all the hostages. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it a point just to shoot all the hostages. Just because because bring a lot of ammo. Terrible at this. Oh, there's a lot of them. Dude. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, it's it's pretty intense. Is it? It's I heard a, some folks talking about it. They were they were surprised. Um, I guess it's pretty crazy. Like there was, you go into one room. There's like a gun laying on the ground. You got to figure out what's going on. And yeah, it's intense. Yeah. So they got really good instructors down here. They do law enforcement training. They do civilian training. And actually, done. Uh, I, no, I take it back. We haven't done military training, but military has trained here. Okay, so they yeah. use the facilities. So I mean, yeah. guys, it's it's unbelievable. The ranges are multiple. And they're all extremely modern. The most modern indoor ranges I've seen in terms of, of the controls. Action Target is obviously one of the biggest, if not best, target sure. manufacturers in the, on the market. And they have these computer control panels where you can set the distance and you can set, like, uh, if you want the target to turn and, and run back and forth at you and all sorts of crazy stuff. And, and I think the thing that really sets us aside, uh, a lot of people watching may not know what a shoot house is. Do you want to explain that to them? So there's what a shoot house is, at least the shoot houses I've been into. So let's take probably the most recent video, which, gosh, has been years now, yeah. would have been when we went out to Blackwater or Academy. And they have shoot houses, which are 360 degrees. You go upstairs, you go through, and, and they have targets that will just pop out, and they'll be good guy, bad guy targets. I think what they have set up here is an active shooter scenario. So you have to go in and figure out who's the bad guy, who's the good guy just trying to get away, who might even be a good guy right. trying to help out. Right. And you got to make quick snap decisions and shoot the bad guys and not shoot the good guys. It, it's, it, it really is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to gain training a, on a lot of different levels. So rather than to stand static and shoot at a target, target that's also static, uh, it allows you to move and shoot. It allows you to, to reload prior, uh, tapping his, his uh, gun off. So it, it'll just to really get in there and, and have another set of eyes on us. Um, I know each time I go through, I learn something new. Yeah. And so uh, I always look forward to when one of the instructors take me through and they they point out what I need to massage or do a little different to help me, you know, better my game a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's intense. I mean, I remember doing the, the shoot house um, out at, out at uh, Academy and they do rifles. You can do rifle fire here too, right? Absolutely. So you can do handguns or rifles here. And uh, yeah, it's intense. One of the things I learned, which is, is funny, and what's funny is I know this from prior experience, but when you walk into a room and you're looking for a threat, how do you identify a threat? You're looking at their hands, right? So if somebody's a threat to you, they're gonna have a weapon. You're looking for a knife, you're looking for a handgun, you're looking for a rifle, you're looking for something. And it, even before I went into the shoot house in, in, at Academy, we talked about it, we joked, and we're like, you know, you always shoot the gun of the bad guy. And I said, and, and I know, I'm like, I'm not going to shoot the gun. I'm not going to shoot the gun. So we go through the entire shoot house. And Tom, my buddy, who's the instructor there, goes, let's walk back through and see what you did. Every single bad guy shot the gun out of his hands. Really? And what's funny, because you shoot where you look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're looking at their hands, you're looking for a gun, and you shoot exactly where you're looking. Uh, one, of the, one of the Glock gentlemen here actually has a picture of a, a police officer's Glock that was in a gunfight with a bad guy. And the bad guy was shooting at the officer and hit the gun. Yeah. The, the officer got the one shot off, killed the bad guy, but the bad guy got a shot off, hit right in the recoil spring. Isn't that amazing? I mean, talk, yeah. and, and, and the officer was uninjured. I mean, talk about. Thank God, yeah. Man. Yeah. I wouldn't want to roll that, those dice. You know, I but, learned. Um, yeah, I, you shoot a threat. I, uh, I learned something today from, from you know, I, I've always been taught that anytime you're doing type of room clearing, you, you're going to be methodical, you're going to take your time, you're going to slice the pie as you're going around and and and, uh, and then today we had an officer that's uh, also on one of the entry teams and and he was saying now you realize because the reason we set up the shoot house is all of our school resources all of our school protection officers are going through this shoot house on Monday so we have 60 guys that are going through this and and so in setting up the grading the one thing I didn't realize is they don't treat it the same way when it's an active shooter in a school. 
literally you go straight in as fast as you can. You do not slice a pie. You don't look. For, you literally just go in the room, falls to the wall, and just look for the threat. Look for the threat and continue on until you realize there's no threat. And, and his logic is. As a police officer, if you get shot, you get shot. But your job is to go in there and neutralize the threat when there's kids involved. Right. And so, I, you know, and I wouldn't, I would not have thought that way at all. Right. I think I was talking to some folks earlier, and and I heard it explained by one guy that, that, that has some experience. And it's explained room clearing is basically a big poop sandwich. It's just how much bread, how much poop do you get? I mean, there's no, there's no sure thing on how you're going to clear a room. Right? Yeah. It's like when you're the first guy through the door, something's yeah. something. You could take around, yeah. and so um, and body armor only works typically in one direction. You know, it, it, especially when you're talking about rifle threats, and it only protects just a few organs. Right. And so you just have to maximize your armor and all that other stuff. And guys, I don't get into this whole training thing. I'm just talking about it because they have it here, and it's kind of interesting. Um, primarily, I just talk about shooting guns. I'm not tactical. I'm not a trainer. Don't pretend to be. Don't yeah. want to be. But it is fun to come out here and try stuff like that. And say we um, give it a shot. I, Jason wants. Yeah. To, Jason wants to go shoot a hostage. I'm going. I'm going to do it first. First in line. All right. <laughs> I'll run. I think I'll record the whole thing. With Jason going through That's shooting hostages. That's fine. I, we came down here when I, I, been I, my way. I picked up. The, I picked up the first P365 right here, and we we did a live stream on Instagram, and we put the first 200 rounds through it. And that ultimately was the gun that broke at 800 rounds. Um, but anyway, so but we were shooting in here, and th th this is the range we were shooting at. And this is on our way down to Texas, and that's and I carried that little gun all the way to the NRA show, all the way back, right up until 800 rounds. I broke it. I'm so, sorry. So here's a, here's a funny story though. You don't know this part of it. So uh, so you came down, you picked up the gun, and you had had some a little bit of black, bad experiences with Sig prior. Yeah. On some other products, and you were honest about it, which is why everybody likes you and likes your reviews. You're honest yeah. on everything that you do, and so uh, so I. I talked to my Sig rep later that week after oh, left boy. and I said, hey, I said, uh, you know, uh, Tim from Military Arms was just here. He picked up a 365. He absolutely loved it while he was here, and he's going to go back. And I, I said, I think uh, <laughs> this might be the start of, of him getting back into SIGs. And, uh, and, then, and so he's like, oh, that's great. And next thing I know, it broke on you, and we're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Beep. Oops, sorry. That's no, all right. But yeah, um, I was madly in love with that gun right up until it broke. Yeah. And I'm on my third one. So I, I got number two, and number two made it about 400 rounds, started getting light primer strikes and failures to extract. And, it, and those just got progressively worse. So that gun's just sidelined. And now I have number three, and number three has a July build date. And we were just uh, taking a look at some other guns. And what I didn't look at, I got excited because my local gun shop got it in. Uh, I picked the gun up. I was excited. July build date, sweet. I'll take it. And I, I got it home like two days later. I took the magazine out, looked down the magazine well, and the trigger return spring is sticking out in the magazine well, which is the exact same thing that we think broke the first trigger re return spring in the gun right. that we got here. Oh, I don't know. If this one breaks, I think I'm done for a while. But I'm going to give SIG a year and then maybe revisit it. Yeah. I, I think it's a gun that we all want to work really well. They got so much right with the gun. The size is right. Oh, but The recoil management yeah. is, is right there. The sights are amazingly good sights. Uh, you know, the magazine capacity, 12 rounds in a gun that small. I was so madly in love with it right up until it broke. Everything about it. And, and, and so now I'm back. Well, I shouldn't say back. I didn't stop. After, after I saw the issues you had with it, I never did start carrying one. Uh, so for me, it's it's still a, when I need something smaller, it's a Glock 43. Yeah, I think a lot of folks are still saying they're using the Glock 43. Yeah. I just pestered on the Glock guys, like, why didn't you guys do this? <laughs> I, I wish they would. <laughs> if if Gaston, they would have done it, it would have worked. If Gaston is watching right now, do it. Would you please make something similar to so the? So Sig, uh, Gaston, if you're watching this, which you're, I know you're not, um, Sig did this thing called a patent on the magazine. Just blow <laughs> that off. You got more money than they do. Violate their patent and 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 make it. Right. Yeah. See if the Glock guys are going to come over here and punch me in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> so they got the uh, they got the Gen fives out, and I was I was uh, complaining about the horseshoe on the Gen five to the, the guys. Um, but it's, other than that, I think the Gen fives are actually pretty darn good guns. I, tell me about this marksman barrel because I thought it was a button cut barrel. I have a Glock 19X, and it, it's so we should get we should get Woody over here because my understanding is it is still a polygonal rifled barrel. Okay. But they also cut rifling into the political Woody. rifle barrel. Let's see if I got that right. Okay. Let's let's, let's Woody, add the actual block guys. 
Well, they got a, they All right. block so, questions. You, you, you want to you wanna jump in here and talk to a whole bunch of people? I'll try. There's only like 9 million people watching right now. Oh, that's okay. All right. So, this is Woody from Glock. Okay. And we've been, we, and, and they've been kind enough to give us some stuff here to, to, to give away. So explain what the marksman barrel is. What is it? Is it still polygonal rifling with a mix of button cut? Is it? What, what it is, is it's the same polygonal rifling we've always had, but on the sides of that polygonal rifling, we've added lands that are grabbing that bullet a little quicker in the throat, holding it tighter through the barrel travel so you're getting a better seal, better pressure behind it. And okay. then we crown and recess the end of that barrel so that you get even dispersion. Yep getting better balance out of that round and you're getting better accuracy. So is the twist rate the same throughout the barrel? Correct. Is the barrel the same diameter throughout the barrel? Yes. Okay, because you know some barrels like you know tighten at the end and some yep. have increased twist rates. You know, the Germans have played with all sorts of stuff and Austrians aren't Germans, but I did so it's pretty much a polygonal barrel that has some lands cut into it or grooves cut into it. They're more of the land because they're they're raised up versus okay. the groove, but it, it's just an idea. It's it's everything short of a match grade barrel, without calling it a match grade barrel. So, like in a ransom rest, you guys have seen an actual improvement in, in accuracy. Absolutely, they're at 50 meters on a ransom rest. They're seeing sub four inch grips. Wow. Which is okay. better than I'm ever going to shoot. I'll be honest with you. I, I thought it was just like a gimmick. I, I, I was like, oh, gee, you know, you got rid of the, the finger grooves. You know, the finger grooves was perfection, and then we got rid of them in their perfection, yep. and, and now we got this marksman barrel. And I'm just thinking, oh, come on, Glock. But I guess so the barrel really is a deal. It is. It okay. Is. It is a phenomenal improvement in the uh, life window that, that barrel. So what I want Glock to do is come out with something that improves my marksmanship. <laughs> because I don't, I don't think I can maximize that barrel. Yeah. I don't know many people that could. No, I'll tell you, but another thing they did that I thought was really interesting with that gun, and correct me if I'm wrong, so to me, I can feel a difference in the trigger pull. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the things you guys did was with the the uh, striker uh, safety plunger. Yep, the firing pin safety. Oh, you rounded it. It's, it's yes, yeah. and yeah, so we, it runs smoother over that. Right. Thing. Yeah, we, we oblonged it so it no longer rotates then we ramp either side of it. So yep. instead of hitting that wall with the trigger bar and having it break around it, now it walks up that ramp so it's much smoother without that wall, you break the shot and your reset's much shorter and quicker. Okay. So it's really, it hasn't changed the weight, but it's really improved that press. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I love the Glock 19. And what's funny is I, I remember um, when Smith & Wesson came out with the M&P and for years they would not make a gun with the Glock 19 size and, and Glock, just like dominated the concealed carry market. You're right. And finally, like five years later, MMPs came out with a Glock 19 size handgun. It's like you guys just own the market with that pistol. I mean, I was guilty. I carried the darn thing forever. It was just the perfect size, 15 rounds, easily concealable, the right length. I will be honest. I made fun of the Glock 19X. I mean, it makes sense from a military right. standpoint, but <laughs> it's like this, this, this. I'm, I'm talking about this length. <laughs> this is the concealability factor, right? So when you're carrying a weapon with the muzzle down, this length has everything to do with how much you print. I'm like, give me a longer barrel and shorten my grip, right? Right. Give me a longer sight radius, whatever. But it's, it's a military gun. It was a military requirement. What I will admit is the Glock 19X is the best shooting Glock I've ever shot. I will agree with you 100%. Personally, I'm like you. I would have thought something different, but after I put that gun in my hand, it made all the sense in the world. It shoots really, really it does. good. It does. So I'll admit the new the new Gen 5 Glock. I was telling you this earlier with the horseshoe cut out in the front. It it catches me in the pinky. Correct. But with the 19X with the large, larger grip, I don't feel any of that. Yeah. And what they did is they came down not only to the to the standard frame level, but they went a little further because the military wanted something for gloved hands. Yeah. So it gave that extension on that. Yep. It feels good. I mean, if you guys haven't shot a Glock 19X, try it out. It, it, I made fun of it in the beginning until I shot it, and now I, there's it, it's actually probably one of the best shooting Glocks out there. Um, maybe one of these days you guys will make a 19 frame with an inch longer barrel. <laughs> Time will tell. Time will tell. You got to come up with something new. Hey, take this little thing called a uh, P365 and make it better. <laughs> and, and tell Gaston he has more money than Sig. Right. And then just screw that hat. Make that little magazine and make that thing work. Because I want I want one that works. I know I know Glock can make it work. You know we will we will come up with something at some point then. Again, okay. time will tell.
See, I, this is what I love when you talk to manufacturers. <laughs> they're they're so elusive. They're like, we're going to work on something. Some something might be coming, and you'll never get a straight answer because they have to protect it, right? I mean, they can't tell what they can't tell the competition what they're getting ready to do. Uh, and I'll tell you, in the next ten years, there'll be a new product. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a serious question for you. The Glock carbine, go. Not happening. <laughs> That's like the standing joke every year when you go to shot show. Yep. People are like, man, have you seen the Glock carbine? And everybody's just running around, running around and it's like, oh, you jerk. There is no Glock carbine. I'll tell you, I'm waiting on one too. And when it happens, I'm buying one. <laughs> Is that kind of like when I went to high school and they kept trying to sell me an elevator pass that I would need and there was no elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Could be something like that, yeah. So there's definitely no block carbine. Not at this point. We might see something that's like the P365, maybe sometime down the future. That, time will tell. Time will tell. I just love getting all these straight answers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hey man, I really appreciate hey, you coming by and answering the questions about not the problem, J5. Any time. I was uh, really curious about the rifling because I didn't understand it. And once you explain it, it actually makes sense to me. Now I just got to go out and approve my marksmanship so I can take advantage of it. The, the they, they embarrassed me yesterday on the bowling pen. So. Oh, did they really? Yes, they did. Alex did. Yeah? <laughs> I got right there. Alex, of course. you're a machine. Of course. Uh, he, he embarrassed all of us. <laughs> we just call him Ransom. He's Mr. Ransom Rest. That's right. Like a walking Ransom Rest. Yeah, I got to try it. I got to try it out. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Gonna, but I, I guess I have it in my Glock 19X. We're going to have to go and see how tight of the group. I have to give it a try. Yeah. I think I did it once, but with my Gen 4, I, if I remember right, I, I mean, just quick shooting from a holster, I did about the same. But I like the way the 19X feels. Yeah, I do too. I, again, when I first saw it, it just didn't feel good. No, I didn't understand it when I first saw it. I made fun of it. I'm yep. like, gee, thanks, Glock. You gave me a less concealable handgun. I like the flat, dark earth, but then I shot it. I'm like, okay, I'm an idiot. I was just being, you know, a typical exactly internet what I did. mouth. Yeah. That's exactly so, it. If you can get it in your hand, you get an opportunity to shoot it. It's well worth trying. Yeah. Get rid of the horseshoe on the 19 for me. I'll love you. <laughs> All right. Don't bring the finger grooves back either. Right. Don't don't reperfect it with the finger grooves. I do like the smooth. Yep. I do <laughs> too. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Well, hey, thanks again, hey, man. That no was problem. really good. Appreciate having it. You. Thank you. Love talking to you, man. Enjoy, guys. Yep. You want to know something thanks, I about yep. Top Gun is this place here. Where, where's your uh, where's your dog at? The best thing about this this shop. Jason's hey. dog guy. So we came back from Texas last dog time. We'll see if we can. Come on. We brought home a, come on. a dog that Jason. Uh, Kimber, come on. Kimber. I didn't name. I didn't name her Kimber. One. What are her custom names? Name? Don't run off. We'll get one of them in here. Oh, here's Keltec. Here's Keltec. Let's see how big these paws are. Get up here. Oh, yeah. They're just running around the shop. Yeah, they're totally personable. Hey. They love everybody. They come up and get pet. Hey. I mean, up. just up. amazing. Up. <laughs> up. There you go. If you don't love dogs, you don't have a soul. Oh, yeah. Dogs so, are awesome. These dogs are always running around here at Top Guns, and it's, it's awesome to see them. They come visit you, you pet them, and, and enjoy a really nice atmosphere. Right there. All right, she wants to. Oh, yeah. yeah. She just wants to go right. lay, lay on the ground again. Anyway, yep, so they got dogs, they got guns, they got ranges, they got shoot houses, and hi, I just made a new friend. <clears throat> I have to cross my legs here. <laughs> Didn't think I had peanut butter in my pocket. Anyway, so. <laughs> Ah, anyway, so later tonight, it's going to get crazy in here. What's going on? You're doing, you're giving away some stuff. What are you giving away? We'll be giving away a Glock of choice. So whoever whoever wins, I think you're going to be gone. We're going to have you draw the ticket, but you're going to be gone, I think. Right well, you're going to be doing it at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock Eastern time, and I'm yeah, on. I'm on Central Standard. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll be divorced. I'll give some. I'll be pick somebody a, a free ticket, and then hopefully it's an attorney. And, um, and a good divorce attorney because my wife will, will kill me. Actually, my wife is very forgiving. But uh, so Sundays are our home day. Jason and I have promised, because we usually work seven days a week in the last month or so, we, we said Sundays are family days and we're trying to stick to that. So yep. we got a three hour drive tonight. So we're home Sunday all day with the kids. We got to do a cookout. One of these days. Jason has a brand new swimming pool. <laughs> There's such a story but, there. <coughs> Listen, I didn't buy any swimming pool. His mother-in-law, my mother-in-law. <laughs> mother this is a great story. Put a swimming pool in my backyard. 
without my knowledge. Oh, I literally came home one day to people digging a hole in my yard. Well, and I was going, She What's financed happening? it. She did everything. Wow. Yeah, my mother-in-law financed it and did all of it. I mean, I guess there's worse things a mother-in-law could do for sure. Yeah, but N no, you don't I understand. just want a pool. They're maintenance. They're <laughs> we oh, live in yeah. Indiana. It, it's like you can use it three months out of the year, then he has to work. Right. It's just more work for him. He's got to That's clean true. it and take it because his wife's yeah. not going to do it. No. No, she's all <laughs> about it, but no, she won't yeah. do the maintenance on it. And they're expensive. They are. My mother-in-law financed the whole thing. No, I meant maintenance-wise. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, she, it's did time the, consuming. she did the whole thing, and I just can't believe it. So we're we're gonna we're gonna have a we need to have a, a pool party because in about a week the snow's gonna fly and you're gonna be out there. And guess who's gonna be over there helping you? Yeah, like getting the pool ready for winter. You. Oh, oh man. I'll drag you into this as well. Actually, I we'll should have to just make let it. it. I should just let it go. I didn't want it. It just showed up in my yard. I tried so. to convince him we should be able to do underwater rifle tests. How fun would that be? I think it's a great idea. Well, we can't puncture the pool. It's like Olympic size. And, and uh, I mean, if it does. Titanium vegan, bye bye. Yeah. Let's see, how do I get him? What's he getting rid of? A uh... Just getting rid of an idiot. Yep. You say we stupid things. Yes. Mm -hmm. You go bye bye. You go bye bye. You Should get I'm, banned I'm for life. I'm impressed that you can read that far. Holy cow. I keep That's an eye on this stuff because it drives me crazy. Yeah. Everybody has to come in and say snotty stuff. Right. It's just amazing. That's, that's, that's what I love about the internet, you know? It's like people come in, they got the anonymity, and they come in and they make all sorts of off-color comments and just outright like racist comments and just dumb stuff that doesn't belong on the channel because we run a family channel despite the fact he cuss. I did, I'm sorry. It won't happen. Gotta put a dollar in the jar. I... <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, you know what we do, what we have? What? We do have a jar here. Do you really? We... What though? Jay, oh, yeah, will, you, uh, will you my, bring us our jar? My guns Jay, unloaded jar. Will you bring us our jar? So at the gun shows here, they have they call the idiot jar because everybody comes into the gun show and they say, "Oh, my guns unloaded." They make you check it. And they take the live round out of the gun and then they put it in this jar. And the jar is pretty cool. So we. Oh, we, uh, oh they have their very own. They they my own. guns unloaded jar. These are unloaded guns that have come in our store. Top Guns Dummy Program. The the my guns unloaded jar. So. Every time, so this is this. If you're if you're a gun store owner or you've worked for a gun store, how many times has somebody come in and said, well, "I want you to take a look at my gun," and they immediately reach for their waistline, like, "Stop, stop, stop! Not show and tell." Loaded guns. We go someplace in the clearing, we're going to range, clearing barrel, wherever, and then you got the guys that come in and say, "I want to trade this in. It's in a case," and they and they, uh, they say, "Here, let me show you. Stop." You know, we want to make sure it's empty. Oh, it's empty. It hasn't been loaded in years. And then the the store, um, you know, employee. Does what they're supposed to. They open it up. Live round pops out, and it goes in this jar. I presume. So frequently, we have seen. Uh, we've all every. I think I'm every employee it. here has at some point looked down the barrel of a loaded gun, and it's scary. I tell you what, I've been in gun stores my entire life, and you have no idea. When we were in the old Mac, I'm sorry, the old um, the old Copper Custom Building, we we co co shared with another gun company. Oh, this is one of those like uh, totally wrecking your jar here for you, Steve. <laughs> I, I just want to get into it. Well, while you're doing that, we, we, we made a video about this on our on our YouTube channel, and the hate mail that I got back. Why would you the, get hate mail? Well, one, it was a Jason's favorite 410. <laughs> yep. He really does love 410. Monster makes what is 22 250. 410. Can you identify this? Is this a 22 250? Uh, I'm gonna say. I can't read it. You guys want to see something funny? I'm oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give away something. So everybody everybody always hears me talking about my old man eyes. This is something you've never seen on the Military Arms Channel before. These are my reading glasses. I don't. I, I will never wear glasses except eye protective wear. You push a button, and look, oh, and look what look happens. Oh, look at this. And so... I mean, this is James Bond stuff right here. This has been Franklin stuff. And then you just set it on the end of your nose. Oh! And what we have here is a Winchester 243. I was going to say 243. You would have been right. This is definitely 12 gauge. This is 20 gauge. This is Jason's favorite 410. You have a lot of 410 people. There's like a theme here. I think we've had a uh, These are like 410 huge magnums. governors or judges or something come in. Oh, is that it? I think. Yeah. All you got to do is just look down the barrel. Oh, this one's loaded. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> How do you check if a revolver's loaded? Just look down the front of it. Just joking. All right. Okay, what's this one? Here's another one. I'm going to go with that 243 as well. You think so? You think that's 243? Yeah. 
I'm going to go with 243 too. Yep. You got a lot of deer hunters. This is this wasn't even Indiana legal for the longest time. Huh, it's just still, recently. Just recently we got 243. Yeah. Oh, these are easy. 45 ACP. We got a lot of 22 long rifle in here. We got some 357 Magnum 38. Yeah, 22 long rifle. So these are these are uh, what is that? That's a, it's a golden saber. Golden saber. Yeah. 30 carbine. We've had 30 carbine. Somebody came in with an M1 carbine. There's a bunch of 30 carbine down there. And some more 243. That's crazy. It's the yeah. same dude. I bet you. it's the same dude. He comes in every time once you show his gun, <laughs> and it's the same guy with a loaded 243. Because, okay, here's a 243. Here's a 243. That might have been a whole gun that was loaded or something. I don't know. Maybe they got, I can't, I can't imagine that. Uh, Let's just go with it's the same guy that comes in like every month. Or, with or, the same or, rifle. or so also what happens is if someone comes in, let's say with a 223 or a 308, and they and a round comes out, yeah. but they won't let us keep it because technically we can't keep it. That's stealing. If they won't let us keep the round and put it in the jar, we grab a round and stick it in to oh, represent okay. that round. So yeah, I got we you. try to stay as close as possible. But if I don't have a single 308 round sitting out, I haven't then seen we grab these. what we. The when's the last thing have. When's the last time you saw these? Somebody was reloading the semi watt cutters. Yeah, I was gonna say that didn't come from here for sure. Um, I just saw a really cool cartridge you haven't out. seen forever. Huh? It's been cleared out. Yeah, this has been emptied more than once. Oh, I don't doubt that. There's an M855 green tip sitting in there. I just saw a all silver 5.56 round. Check this out. I haven't seen these in forever. Right. Look at that. It's yep. Well, I mean, it, it, it's steel case. Definitely, definitely steel case. Yeah, the, and definitely bimetal. <laughs> yeah, the jacket yeah. on the outside. But yeah, that's that's just a bare metal jacket. So this one isn't even uh, isn't even copper washed or copper plated. That's pretty cool. All right. So we had fun digging through the jar. Wow, let's go at, shoot. That's that's. <laughs> he just wants to go shoot something. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm gonna shoot all the hostages. Are you I've had so shoot? many monsters Are today. Are you gonna take a video of him do it and then air it? Yeah. I mean, I, is it in a different range? Can we get a live stream in there? We might. I'll tell you what. You can probably get a live stream off of my phone. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to get your phone back there. But you're doing it off your Wi-Fi, right? I am, but it's on a different Wi-Fi than yours, and I don't have the password for that. This is your store. How I do you not have know. the password? I don't have it. It's I, my IT guy. Where is your IT guy? In Indianapolis. So it's on it's on a network that is that those computers over it's there okay. are on. It's okay. Uh, call, call your IT guy. <laughs> I will I'm bring you. I will bring you guys along somehow. Even if we have to post it, I fail. Just shoot out. We'll, we'll, we'll get you on. Either that, or you can use my phone. Log out of our account. Log in with your account, and then when you're done, log out of your account and we'll log back in with ours. I, I may not know my own password. Oh, see. <laughs> but I don't have an IT guy. Chastising I mean, me for not knowing my password. I don't have an IT guy. All the more reason you should know your password. It's, it's my cameraman's it. fault. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't take the blame on all of it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we've got some folks. Let's see what some of the comments are. Uh, you never get around for me, though. This guy's not going to give you around. Zinc plated. Yep, you're probably right. Yep, Tula zinc plated is old Tula ammunition because yep. I remember it back in the day. Um, is there a new optic mount for the Sub 2K? I thought I'd check it out. I haven't seen the new optics mount for the Sub 2K. I remember the Midwest Industries one. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, password is password. Probably so. Probably is, or Top Guns. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We take security really seriously here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to get... Let's see if we see anything. I said, I'm from Cherville, Tim. Now I'm in Minnesota, though. Okay, well, if you're in Cherville, it would have been fairly close, closer. Been about the same about drive for us. You want a 357 M1 carbine. M1 carbine is like a 357-ish. Yeah, I miss a 90 grain projectile. Oh, it's here it is. Butt. This is the guy I like. He wants me to shoot this 249. Do what? Shoot now? the intro. He wants me to shoot the 249. Can we use the 249 on the clear on the, on the uh? <laughs> no, but in you the shoot house? Can I use it in the shoot house? You, you can use the 249. We, I just don't. I don't think we'd have much of a shoot house left if you. I'm not it. going to the shoot house unless I can use the 249. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at him. He's like, we, we, we do have one. <laughs> they have they have 249s here. We, if you yes, want to rent do. a 249, they do. Full auto 249. We have a full auto Scar 16 and also a full auto Scar 17. So, so how many mags do you have for the uh, Scar 16? Yeah, can we shoot the shoot house with that? Because I want to do a full mag dump on every bad guy. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Every man. There are hundreds. No shoots. Yeah, it's it's tough. That's a lot of mags. It's a tough. <laughs> yeah. Who's paying yeah. for the ammo? <laughs> There's a hundred no shoots in there. That's a lot of mags. <laughs> yeah. I see the belt fit. I'll, I'll, I'll strafe. <laughs> called strafing fire oh man all right guys we just wanted to, to let you guys know what we're doing we're down here top guns Terre Haute Indiana come by check out the store and one more time how can they find you on Facebook YouTube and Instagram it's as easy as just searching top guns you'll find us if you go to YouTube type in top guns we're the first thing to pop up I think cool so I'm pretty sure it is because that's how I found my way down here again yeah because we come down 65 41 63 and then this like maze of little uh, 65 oh, really? 10 41 63 oh yeah because we had a bunch of construction this time ah. it's like yeah. one lane half the way the drive home is going to be long we're gonna be drinking more monsters if 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 if, if we die you'll know yes. what happened we, a, we drank too many red bulls and monsters. long haul home all right all right well we better get you guys in the shoot house so you can get on the road all right guys thanks for tuning in Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to swing by, check out Top Guns and Terre Haute. Check them out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Just look for Top Guns. Show them the logo. See, it's like this T with a little G in, oh, integrated into that. it. Those are our Listen, followers. people yeah, still want to know what the logo is. <laughs> I still want that phone set up. I have, I have the iPhone 10. I don't have the little audio port. Yeah. I have a little dongle. It may work. I yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they make a dongle. It's my understanding. I think it plugs into like where that's at, and then you can plug that into that. Jason, how bad do you need that? I don't want it. Okay. I guess we won't wind up with one. It probably costs like $10,000 anyway. He has a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Wait Ferrari>. <laughs> no, my, my, I have ADD. And so my, you're talking like that, and I'm sitting here looking at the True Glow guy, and I'm thinking, oh, he didn't see your, your plug for True Glow. You were like, you're. Yeah. He's talking I, about how much he likes True Glows. Yeah. I would pull my gun out, but then I'd have to put my rounds in the jar because <laughs> because it's loaded. All right, guys. Check out the Top Guns, guys. If you're in the area, how late open tonight? We're here till 8 p.m. every night, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sundays. Okay, so be here till 8 p.m. I don't know that we're going to be here till 8 p.m., and that's Eastern time. So if you're coming from Illinois, something like that, keep in mind there's going to be a, an hour difference. Absolutely. And so, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we will talk to you guys soon now that we got this whole new streaming system you know, figured out. This is a lot easier than it used to be. We need to figure this out. You have to teach us how to do this. You just go in and click stream. Oh. It's, it used to be you had to get the key and put it in and do all this crazy stuff. So it's a lot easier. So we're going to do more live streams. And we can do this right from the laptop from the road. So awesome. hopefully you guys like the live streams. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. We'll see you guys. So our Thanks. guys over here on Facebook or on uh, our YouTube, I'm sure most of you already know who he is and already follow him. But if you don't, Tim, how can they follow follow you? Just go to Google and type in military arms. You don't even have to put the channel part. Like the first 10 pages should should bring you to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. So, That's pretty, I pretty much own military arms now and online. So for those of you that don't know Tim and what he does, uh, one of the things that I have a high appreciation for that he and Jason do, they do a lot of reviews and you get nothing but honesty from them. So we don't take any industry money. He takes no money from anybody. He cannot be bought. Uh, he stands up for our rights literally in every aspect and you've called out the NRA yep. on, on more than one occasion and uh, on things that they've done that, that are not in our best interest. Right. You even got them to start changing their position on a few items. I can't take all the credit. We collectively. Sure. Like it's, you know, I, I'm not the only guy out there doing it, but there's, you know, social media um, has a lot of influence and when, when we all come together and we all make our voices heard and there's a lot of other good channels out there um, we, we can make a difference and so we believe in that and probably a good chunk of what we do uh, we're supported through Patreon and, and our Patreon supporters allow us to be in communication with congressmen with lobbyists with all the big folks out there like the National Association of Gun Rights and our, our friends over at GOA and the Firearms Policy Coalition um, yeah, for a short time there we worked with the NRA, but then they backstabbed us, and I told them if you do that, I'll become your worst enemy, and I think I kept my promise there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think they probably want to kill me. But anyway, all right, I think that's the end of it. That's it. Let's all go right. shoot. We're going to go shoot, guys. See y'all. Take care. Thanks. Right. Bye, guys. See ya.